You know, two years ago, my wife dressed up my team roving horse like a dressage horse, and she broke the internet. She did it again. True love. True love. The title of this video is gonna be my wife steals my team roving horse again. <laughs> no, 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 not officially. <laughs> again. Well, you've been in cross tides before. Yeah. Feel real different? No, it honestly feels like Ryder because Ryder is this wide. Er, oh, right. He's wide, but. He's yeah. a little bit taller than Blue is, though. Yeah. If you've watched this channel since uh, we were down at the ranch, you might, you know, recognize that we used to do this every once in a while when we were down at the ranch. And it's just kind of fun to jump on, on different horses and try different things. And it's good for Blue, too. We haven't been doing much roping just because it's been so absolutely hot. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll let Maddie in in uh, blue go for a little bit and then we'll switch to normal western tack and he and i'll go for a little ride Stealing him. He's still mine. This is so bad. This is like my I shouldn't drink Red Bull. But it just tastes so good. Mm. Oh. Put it back in the fridge when you're done, please. Oh you put it back? Huh? Oh you put it back? Please. It never ends up getting back to the fridge on me. I don't know what kind of magic they put in this thing, but it's fantastic. Round two. So this time isn't easy. I didn't ride blue for very long, so Barrett's gonna take him on a little. Yeah, this is more of a pleasure. And more of a trail ride. Yeah. Right. my custom set of leggings that we just had made. They were made by Alex Levy. Um, he's a fantastic leather craftsman in, uh, in Mason, Texas. I will put his uh, Instagram in the link below, but these are absolutely 
the the most sick set of leggings that I've ever seen. You got the, I guess it's fringe on the side. They're, I don't know if they're, I don't know if you consider them shotgun leggings or, or <clears throat> what. The, the cell phone pocket. <laughs> it's like leggings that make it 2020. Yeah. It's got a nice little cell phone pocket. So, uh, part of the reason that I'm going to go ride blue today is yes, just get him kind of out on the trail and have a bit of fun, but I also want to continue to break these in. Uh, today will be the second day that I actually uh, wear these in the saddle, so we're just trying to kind of break them in a bit. But yeah, these are absolutely sick. Um, like I said, I'm just I'm in love with them. I can't thank Alex enough for them. They've got the, uh, the zipper down the back, makes it nice and easy to get them on and uh, get to riding, which is what we're going to do right now. So, round two, blue. But fun round two. <laughs> careful honestly not doing a whole lot on blue today uh, it's a nice little trail ride down to the front entrance of this place and then we'll just ride back um, really two things I'm doing I'm just kind of breaking in these leggings a little bit and then uh, I, I guess maybe three things just enjoying some nice scenery with nothing really to do other than just being with a horse and then uh, yeah just getting blue kind of out of the arena I think it's important to uh, get your horse out of the arena and just let them kind of have some exercise without anything strenuous to do or, or think about or anything like that. So that's just what we're doing. Just having a nice, easy, breezy Saturday. thing I like to do especially on younger horses is take them out on trail rides like this because the ground is not even at all and they really have to use their feet and be conscious of their feet. I feel like uh, horses that are just stuck in arena all the time if you take them out to stuff like this they just trip and fall over themselves all the time so we've got a, uh, a nice little hill we've got to get up to in order to kind of get on this little plateau and it's good for blue to use those different muscles to really propel us up these hills like this so don't be afraid to take your horses obviously do it safely but don't be afraid to take your horses on adventures and and make them really use their feet and use their mind and um i mean if you want a good sure-footed horse you're gonna have to get off of the arena sometimes Just a little update. I don't think I'm lost and I don't think that I'm on anybody else's property because I haven't uh, crossed any fences, but I don't really know. I mean, I guess I could backtrack to the way I came, but I'm just gonna try to, you know, wing it and see if I can get back to the barn from here. You know, just kind of exploring and getting lost. It's, uh, it's what I do best, I think. Second update, I think we're good. We're back to kind of where we were. I had to 
you know, wander along the creek a little bit, but we are back in action. Uh, I think that's it. I know that I'm sufficiently worn out and I'm sure that Blue is sufficiently worn out as well. So we're gonna call today and take him home and uh, yeah, we'll be back at it tomorrow. <laughs>